Pakistan's on its reactions. The prince, uh, Yamcha, is dead. I fucked this bitch. Reactor Vines. Uh, this one came from War of the Games. I'm not sure. Like, it actually went out a long time ago. It somehow, it got like, I somehow mixed up in the queue. Or, no, you know what? I think they sent me a message and I don't even get the notifications when I get messages. So, anyways, let's do this one real quick. War of the Games. Suits. Reactions. And War of the Games thing is not loading correctly. Let's try it one more time. Let's go ahead and go in 480. I don't know, something's really weird when I'm editing at the same time. And I'm not going to download it. Alright, here we go. War of the Because I see Ben Affleck, I don't see Bruce Wayne. Oh boy. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Absolutely! That shit was like the start. Yeah, I noticed that with Gator as well. He didn't want to say anything, but... I really think when people are like, we need a slut, they're gonna cast Scarlett Johansson. Bitch, please, get down on your goddamn knees. For this money, trying to close in weed. Look, you fucking with some real OG. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Yeah, that was pretty good. Welcome to Jurassic uh, Tyrone, I bet you. pretty good shit war of the games i wish i had seen that one a lot earlier but <laughs> it's so that, that part with the the, the D dc fans all over because <laughs> that was the beginning definitely that was definitely the beginning side story because i'm celebrating my tw uh, 20,000 subscribers or whatever today um, I, I was about to talk about that, but that was actually the beginning, like, of what sort of just brought out the ferociousness in, like, haters. Haters and cynics. Uh, on the channel, just like, it was like the big, and, I, and obviously so. I knew, I knew this was going to happen. Um, given the fact that for over a year or so I was always saying until the Batman vs. Superman trailer comes back uh, comes out blah 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 so the hype was all there and for whatever reason people expected me to people expected me to just uh, without any shadow of a doubt be ex enjoy the trailer which I actually enjoyed the trailer it wasn't the best trailer it wasn't it wasn't as hype as a trailer should be, in my opinion, um, but it did the job for the fanboys, in my, my opinion. It, 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 the fans enjoyed it. The normal people, oh shit, sorry, kicked the camera, getting mad. The normal people that like saw it, there's just like, okay, there. You know what? Still, still, to, people are still at, like when I sit, when I show it to people that don't know anything about what's been going on, they're just like, uh, who's that? I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be Bruce Wayne. They're like. What? What happened to Christian Bell? It's like, not that that should be one of the issues, but that, like, people get so sad every time I tell them, nah, they were, they finished, the trilogy is finished, it's done, and 
well, Ben Affleck's going to be Batman. And you're like, what? I'm like, well, you know, he was good. And uh, this is after. And then after I saw Gone Girl, I'm like, you know what? This dude, you know, he actually, this was a damn good movie, but it was a damn good director at the same time. So, um, anyways, though. But, yeah, I was just going to say, it. You know, I, I, if I were to pin a point of when things started to, like, the instead of like everybody just being yeah okay cool cool yeah Akasa to the point where like what the fuck all this time you've been saying honest reactions honest reactions and you don't like the trailer that I'm, I am expect you to like like that so that was the beginning because right after that was uh, Batman vs Superman then the Star Wars trailer came out which I don't know like I'm not a big fan of Star Wars at all um, so people were shocked about that one and then it was the um what was it? Ah, it was the Jurassic Park trailer. It was it's just one particular week that people were just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> no, but I knew it. I knew it. Like, I, by far, if I were to, <clears throat> if I got, if I had faked that reaction to Batman, which I considered, I considered, or I considered not saying anything, but that wouldn't have been me. If I had faked it, I would have been, I can guarantee, I can guarantee you I probably would have been at 50,000 subscribers by now. F yeah. But, that's not the kind of subscribers I want. Someone, you know, fake, fake subscribers. People that want to see, just want people to get crazy about it and shit. <clears throat> that's not the channel I'm trying to build, so. You all, you all know that, though. If, you, if you've you been subscribed for a while, you all know you all know what that is. You know, Even Danny went through that. Uh, speaking of Danny and this trip. Even Dan, Dan, that was a big problem for Danny. Um, he didn't fake his viral video about the Fast and Furious, but he had a big problem because um, the subscriber number, he was over like 20-something uh, thousand, yeah, 20,000 subscribers. That video was like 2 million views. But they would only watch Fast and Fur Fast Seven stuff, and that was it. And so I knew, I knew if I ever, if I ever faked anything, um, I knew that I wasn't going to be happy with the results about that because from that point on, people just would have been, oh man, yeah, Batman vs Superman, oh, you got, you got to, you got to talk about the set reports, you got to talk about, da, 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 da. and I would, it just would have annoyed me so much, I probably would have cracked because I would feel like I would be living under like a lie or whatever. Or, you know, for example, people hound me all the time about Batman Arkham Knight, uh, which is great because I know they want me to react to commercials and such, which I don't do, uh, but they want to know about the gameplay, and that's great because I'm actually excited about it. The uh, It actually did the job. It's actually a Batman that I'm happy about. So, Batman vs. Superman has a long... Mm, a long way to go so I hope that I hope the next trailer or something yeah yeah we'll see who's who knows you know who knows they got a long way to go and we have a long way to go till that movie comes out so we'll see it'll be it'll be great it'll be great and if we're in a day and age when both the DC properties Warner Brothers and the Marvel properties are both we both are just like yes they're both doing things great and no wars will be had no war no reactor wars nothing oh what a brave new world we'd live in <laughs> bring me one man huh. hello stranger Okay, well fuck you.